What's up, people? Gumi got here back at episode 6 and I Pokemon Black to Ram as Nuzlocke. I hope you all had a wonderful day and ready to get this episode started. So today I'm actually trying out the, uh, the, the different microphone. Uh, this one is the, the, I guess you could say like the handheld microphone, uh, the one that isn't built into my headphones. And this, like, I think that the joke of this channel is that whenever I use this microphone, I had to like lean in like a lot to make it work. Hopefully the audio sounds good. Uh, so, so we're gonna roll with it today. Uh, so if I sound a little different, that's why. The cold is like 95% healed. So I think I'm back to basically normal voice Brandon. But with all of that stuff out of the way, let's just get started with the episode. So uh, in, th in this episode, we're probably gonna battle the fifth gym. But before we do that, let's do a quick team recap. We actually have a team to recap. So starting off with Ed the Swampert, uh, water ground type obviously, <laughs> with uh, Magnitude, Crab Hair, Milk Drink, and Shadow Sneak with the Solar Power ability. Moving on, we have Taconit the the Archeots with Drill Peck, Ancient Power, Energy Ball, and Bug Bite with the item Shell Bell. And lastly, we have Seed, the Shiftry with Leaf Blade, Night Slash, Bug Bite, and Close Combat. So overall, I'd say a pretty good team. Uh, I'm a little concerned for the 5th gym, mainly because uh, like I'm a, I might be a little underleveled, but we're going to roll with it. So worst case scenario, we, we just have to struggle a little bit, right? But we'll see what happens. All right, now let's see which I kind of forgot where the gym is. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> okay, uh, let's do this. All right, so I do have to like lean in a little bit for this microphone to pick up my audio well. <laughs> so it's a bit it's a bit uh, uncomfortable, <laughs> but we're gonna try because I think the audio does come out a little clearer when I use this microphone. So yeah. Okay, so we are gonna switch train the the uh, swamp here a little bit just to get it, get some uh, good XP on it. Uh, but we, but uh, you know, because I want to have like at least three good Pokemon to use, and the Hippodon is still in the PC chilling, so uh, just in case I need it. So let's see. All right, let's look at the bag and see if there's a, uh, any uh, items I can give like my Pokemon, because I don't really have many like hell items. But let's see what we got. We have, yeah, we don't really have anything. <laughs> uh, I was hoping for like a Mystic Water or like a, a Soft Sand, but we don't have that. So, all right, let's take a look. All right, so this puzzle is a little confusing. Uh, but we're gonna try our best to get through it. Uh, the levels are probably gonna be like extremely high. Uh, I'm a little concerned about that, but we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. Uh, Alright. Gengar. Okay. Uh, what level is it? It's level 34. Alright, so that's a little high. Uh, and I would usually stay in, but I think you can just one-shot me with like Shadow Ball. So let's just go out to uh, Shift Tree and go for Night Slash. Uh, you probably won't go for a Poison type move since like it's resisted by the Swamp Hurt. So let's just uh, you go for you. Hex, okay, good. I'm not sure if I outspeed. Chen's or I don't. But let's hope you don't have like Sludge Bomb or something. Okay, good. So you went for Hex again. That is good. All right, let's just go for the Night nice Slash. Should just be an easy one shot. All right, uh, I, I'm going to use a little speed up because it's a little redundant uh, or a little bit boring to watch <laughs> it go slowly. And then we got Seeking. That I'll just stay in for. All right. Terror Volt, okay. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Uh, once again, I hope you're all having a nice day. I'm actually recording this episode a little earlier than usual. Uh, just fix up the recording schedule a little bit. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, heal up my Pokemon a little. And uh, keep going. So it's kind of crazy to think that we're already like more than halfway through the game. Like, I, Black and White is one of the longer games out there, but I'm already at the 5th gym. And it's, only, it's like the 6th episode, so it's kind of crazy. As for today, the, the episode, should, I hope for the episode shouldn't be that uh that long because like we're just gonna bow the fifth gym and do some other miscellaneous stuff maybe get an encounter i haven't decided on that yet i know you can get like the pokemon world tournament count uh, encounter but i think i might save that for another time because you never know when you'll need it all right uh i think you need to press this button uh, what the heck <laughs> oh okay okay i think it's like this then right okay great so now that elevator what no 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 uh Okay, this puzzle's a little confusing. <laughs> I, I like black and white's puzzle better. <laughs> Alright, this way. Alright. There we go. Okay. Alright, Crooked Owl. Uh, level 32. I'm still a little concerned I can't- I, I, I won't be able to, uh... Uh, like, what is it? Like, do good damage against that thing? So let's just switch out again. In a few levels, the, the, the Swamper should be battle ready. And uh, hopefully by the gym, I can actually use it. Fissure. Okay, good thing I swapped. Okay. Because uh, Fissure doesn't work if you're high level. Faint attack, you outspeed. Fissure is not that fast. Uh, that's why I have Archeops. 
All right, there you go. At least I am one-shotting stuff. Like, there's no doubt that my team is powerful. It's just a little bit under-leveled. So, all right, level 23, level 24. Wow, look at that. Uh, and then what, a hip on top. Let's do, uh, let's switch back out to Ed for some nice XP. Uh, and then we'll go to Arceus. Okay. All right, let's switch out. Okay, it's one of the good things about Black 2 and Y2, out of all the good things, is that TMs are unlimited. So you don't have to worry about that, like, the, uh, you don't have to worry about, like, your TMs running out and stuff. All right. All right, so go for Drill Peck. Good stuff. All right, Fracture. Uh, well, you have a lot of Pokemon. Uh, let me switch out. Okay, good stuff. All right. All right, let's see. All right, so Fracture level 32. Once again, levels are incredibly high. Uh, back out to Archeops. Okay. Clear body. Dual chop. Ooh, gonna hurt a little. Ooh, that actually did a lot more damage than I thought it would. Uh, let's see. Let's go for the drill peck. Should be a one shot. Uh, might live on like a little bit of health. Okay, good. Oh, uh, the crit pro the crit may have mattered. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. All right, more levels, more levels. And you're learning sacred sword. Wow, that's kind of random, but I'll take it. I mean, that's physical. Um, I guess. Hmm. I'll get rid of Milk Drink. Uh, it's unlimited TM anyway, so if I ever want to use it again, I can. Uh, these days, uh, I, I run a lot. I run the Assault Vest a lot, so I, I, so I, th I think that's probably why I like having four th like, offensive moves a lot. Because when you use Assault Vest, uh, you, you are only li limited to uh, offensive moves, so I, I use Assault Vest a lot in competitive. But. Alright. Like, I, if I get a Salt Vest, like, that would be very helpful, because, like, I think all my Pokemon right now have only attacking moves. <laughs> so, okay, Sacred Sword. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, Cleffa, not a big deal. <laughs> so I can just take it down with my Swampert. Okay, there you go. That, that trainer took a little, it took a while, you know? All right. Okay, the elevator, is this the, is this the elevator? Oh my god. <laughs> that was kind of, that was kind of creepy. <laughs> okay, uh, this way. I always forget which direction it is. Uh... Maybe this way. Uh, press the switch again. Okay. And now that happens. Uh, I don't. I don't know. And then this way, maybe. Uh, and this way again. And then, nope, nope, that's the wrong way. This way. I think. I don't know. I, I'm doing this based on intuition. Like, there's not much science here. It's just me like clicking on stuff randomly and seeing if they work. Okay, there you go. So I think I think that's the right direction, or maybe a dead end. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. All right. So I am partially tempted to stay in, but I feel like that's a bad idea. So let's just uh, let's switch out into uh, Taconit Tank. I think I might go for like Earth Power or like Earthquake, whatever it has. Maybe the Mud Slap. Uh. Sky attack, uh, sure, <laughs> sure, and then uh, let's just go for H and power or something. I don't know. Okay, oh, I forgot sky attack. Uh, I'm confusing with with uh, with uh, sky drop that takes two turns. Oh my god, why did I do so much damage? Uh, let me heal real quick. Okay, uh, there you go. All right, and then Sky Attack. Okay, so I think Drill Peck should finish it off from this range. Then there is Theory, and it's not that bulky. So, or Incarnate. No, I think this is the Incarnate form. Never mind. Uh, it's not that bulky. So, level 26. Nice. It's gaining levels very quickly, which is nice. Oshawa. Okay, I think I can handle Oshawa with my uh, with my Swampert. So, okay. Oshawa. Okay. So at the time of recording this, episode three just came out, breaking the fourth wall a little. Uh, episode four and five uh, are edited and ready to go, uh, but they aren't out yet at the time of recording this, breaking the fourth wall a little. Uh, thank you all so much for the support on the past few episodes. Uh, I really appreciate it. Episode one has like 80 to 85 views. Like that's like that's a lot of views. I haven't had views like that in a long time. So truly, thank you all so much for uh, all the support. Okay, let's stay in. Okay. Let's see. Uh, and then I guess we go out to uh, Taconit. Okay. Let's see. Uh, this might be one of like, the longer runs I've had. 
of uh of black and white 2 I, i'm not entirely sure because whenever i play this game i usually lose like the first 10 minutes like 10 not like 10 minutes in game <laughs> it's kind of funny all right now this mic is a little challenging to use because it's like so you have to like it's like directly into the microphone and it's like a little bit uncomfortable because it's like it's it's a it's like it's a handheld microphone so you have to like hold it to your either you have to hold your to your mouth or you have to like lean into it so but i do think the audio is a little better okay all right so uh, almost level 36 with this pokemon i think i went the wrong way <laughs> uh that's okay let's just go this way uh, and then this way this way yep so that, that's the elevator the, i think there's like one or two more trainers before the gym leader uh right or maybe this is a gym leader i, I don't know uh, maybe are you the gym leader? You are not a gym leader. Okay. <laughs> uh, I might heal my Pokemon before I buy the gym leader. We'll have to see how, uh, you know, how much damage they've taken. Tojepi. <laughs> that's the uh, that's like the the Pokemon way of saying it. Okay. Uh, let's go for Sacred Sword. Should be a one shot, or almost one shot at least. Oh, close enough. Sing. Oh, come on. <laughs> Little annoying, but all right. We'll roll with it. Okay, just don't go for like explosion. Okay, no, no, no explosion here. Uh, let me heal while we're at it. I, I don't, I don't know if I have an awakening on my, on me, but I do have a Castellia coin if I really need it. Uh, so let's just dizzy punch. Okay, not a big deal. Uh, and then let's go for a sacred sword. Ed woke up. There you go. <laughs> okay, do I get enough XP from that? Oh, close. And then dark cry. Wow, that is a dark cry. <laughs> Stay in, get some XP. It seems like I'm like basically on par with the levels, which is good because uh, on par means it's a challenge. I, I, a reminder that this is a okay. It has huge power. That's helpful for me. Uh, that did a lot. Let me uh, let me uh, heal real quick. Uh, so this is a 10% level booster. So usually the levels are like a little lower. Like for example, level 34 Pokemon here would usually be like level 31. So you know, uh, it is a, a decent increase. Oh god, that's. Uncomfortable. I think I outspeed and since I have huge power now. Oh, because it has huge power. That's why I did a lot. Okay uh, Focus blast do not kill please. Uh, I'm a little frail. I know but this shouldn't kill right. Oh My god. Oh, that is that is scary dark cry uh, that is, is a strong Pokemon, but fortunately with a huge power ability it uh, it helps so Okay, I love my eight. Yeah, uh, so I'm just catching up pretty quickly. It's uh, and so it's good because Swampert is a really good Pokemon. So let's uh, heal up real quick. Uh, get the super potions out. Oh, well, the wrong Pokemon. Okay. Uh, uh, do we do have a PP max? That might be helpful for like some some of the moves I have. But let me check. All right, and then uh, I did Castelia Cone to heal up the status. Yep, there you go. Let me see. Uh, PP max. Any moves that I think could use more power points? Maybe Leaf Blade. There you go. <laughs> uh, I, what is the, the max power points of Leaf Blade anyway? Uh, I think it's like 24. I, I don't know. Alright, so yeah, it is 24. That's that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Okay. <clears throat> if you use the PP max on like Revival Blessing, uh, would, it, uh, would, it, would it make it two power points? <laughs> Alright. Okay. Alright, uh, maybe this way. I, I don't know. Okay. Uh, Alright, this way. I, I don't know. I, I don't really know where I'm going. Nope. Uh, that might be the wrong way again. Okay. <laughs> oh, yep. It's, it's you again. Uh, this way. Okay. Uh, this way, I guess? <laughs> I, I Like I said, I'm not entirely clear. Yeah, I don't know if this is the right way. Let's go this way then. Okay, and then this way. This way. There, okay, another trainer. Once, But still not like particularly helpful because it's like, <laughs> it's not, it seems to be another dead end. So, the Lossum. Okay, that's actually a terrible matchup. Let's uh, swap. All right, go out to you. Okay. Trace your battle armor. Hmm, nice. And then uh, go for the drill pick. 
All right, nice clean one shot. That's what we like to see. Okay. Yeah, uh, Swamp Hurts getting levels very, very quickly. Inferno, ooh, that's what we call free XP. <laughs> okay. Uh, unless they have, like, Grass Knot or, like, Needle Arm, I don't see how that's Inferno. It could be that threatening. What level is it? It's level 34. Okay. And then let's just go for the Crab Hammer. Psycho Boost, you... Why do you have that? It's a very good question. Okay, didn't do too much. Uh, Infernium actually has pretty good special attack. Uh, but, like, uh, it not Psycho Boost is not a good move on it. So. Alright, let's heal up. Let's go for Psycho Boost again. Okay, that's a little annoying. No matter. Let's... Let's go for the Crab Hammer. Rab... Okay, why do you have Rab and Sand Doom? That's really redundant. Crab Hammer. Almost a one-shot. Okay, I think the sand tomb is causing the game to lag. <laughs> that was weird. Uh, and then go for the shadow sneak. Okay. Alright. Oh, nice. Okay. Good HP. Alright. Alright, let's uh, heal up here. I think that... If, okay, if I can find the gym leader, that will probably be the next trainer. Uh, this gym is actually taking a lot longer than I thought it would, so sorry about that. But uh, you know, we're uh, we're we're gonna we're gonna try to get like to get, get battle the gym leader pretty quickly. We're at the 16 minute mark currently, so all right, this way we go. Okay. Like I I just don't know where to go. Like is it this way? Or okay. No. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, this way. I, I I'm not sure. Uh, like, B, B being bad at puzzles is, is like a, uh, is a, is a constant. <laughs> okay. And then now the, now the, the elevator is this way, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Alright, and then now this way, and this way, and this way. Uh, well, I'm not clear on what's happening. Okay, and then this way. Oh, there you go. Okay, let's make sure my Pokemon are in... Good shape. Uh, good. They're all they're all fully health, full, fully health. They're all they all have full health. Let's do this. All right, Clay. It's time to throw down. Okay. All right. You got four Pokemon. I think it's one more than you usually do. And a Buffalon. Okay. Not a terrible start. Uh, I'm I'm considering staying in, but it might have like a powerful normal type move, and I don't really want to deal with that. So let's switch out because you never know. Uh, and go out to you who resists these moves. Okay. A little bit of speed up. Okay, what do you have? You have flash fire, sure, sure, sure. Work up. Okay, probably a good thing I switched. <laughs> uh, let's uh, go for the drill peck. Finish you off. Not finish. I, I don't think it's one shotting, but it should do like a should two shot. Wow, could the crit, I think, mattered. Uh, and as for the levels, it seems are pretty on par. It's for the most it's pan sage. That's the uh, grass one, right? Yeah, that's the grass one. So I'll switch out. I'll switch out. Yeah, that's the grass one. I'm pretty sure like a, a vine whip could one shot me right here. Uh, and this is level 34. Okay, so it's good to know that we're like not over leveled or under leveled. We're just about the same. So let's go out to shift tree. Go for like bug bite or something. I don't know. Uh, energy ball. Yeah, I probably would have one shot. <laughs> uh, and then go for like the next slash. Should just one shot. Uh, maybe bug bite would have done more damage. I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I can't believe I didn't kill. Uh, oh, that's a little annoying. What is Pan Sage's HP stat? Why did, why did it live? Okay, let's just let's just go. Is it going to keep going for Hyper Potions? Okay, good. Okay, good to see. And then, what is it? A Casella B. Okay, you know what? I'm going to stay in. We're not even risking, risking staying in with Swampert. Let's just go for the Night Slash. Actually, let's go for the Bug Bite. It is four times super effective. Rock climb, uh, that's kind of weird. Uh, did oh my god, what the hell? That did so much damage. Okay, that that was a crit, I know, but that did way more than I thought it would. Okay, bug bite didn't do as much as I hoped. Uh, go for the uh, the lemonade, uh, and then just just a rebound from there. Rock climb once again, very weird move for Celebi to have, but you know here we are. So I thought bug bite would have one shot honestly, but I guess it's uh. It's, it's just not a very strong move to begin with. So, okay. You know, this rock climb thing is already getting old. Just don't get don't get confused, please. It's just free. Okay, good. 
Uh, there you go. Okay. Uh, oh, good XP. And then your your ace is a Cofagrigus. Okay, okay. I think I can handle that. And it is level thirty six, so we are we are perfectly on par with the uh, the the ace. So I think for the next gym, maybe we should go to about like level. Maybe level, what is it? The, I, I, the next gym we should get to around like level 41. Oh, nope, that was a misclick. Ah, uh, sh uh, crap. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, let's, for, let's pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> let's pretend that did not happen. Night Slash. <laughs> okay, I don't think it's one shots though, right? Yeah, all right. Uh, you have a berry too. Oh dear. Hex, okay, so I think that's their best move to use on me. Uh, go for Night Slash. Uh, I don't know, maybe a crit? No? Hex? Okay, yeah. So, if it had, like, a, a better move, it would have used it by now. Uh, nice slash again. Alright, so, the levels are catching up a lot. Uh, for the next gym, like I said, level 40 to level 45, something like that. Should be good. Lazy Clay. <laughs> the, 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 the trainer class is randomized. Okay. Alright, Brandon, it's time for more editing. <laughs> this might be the farthest I've made it in a Black 2 series. Okay, nicely done. A quick attack. Um, no, thank you. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Good. 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 All right. So I think we can. We're all, we have a few minutes left. So I. Th but so I think we can like go to the next route real quick. Uh, let's see. Let's see what we got. All right. So this gym took up the gym took up like most of the episode. It's a pretty long gym, and the puzzle's a little challenging. So uh, you don't bow me here, do you? Oh, I think Clay helps us with the Team Plasma plot, right? Okay, wait, do we, do we have to go to the Pokemon World Tournament? I'm not sure what, what, what's supposed to happen here. Uh, I think so. Let's let's just see what we have to do. Uh, he did say, I think he did say, he did tell us to go to the Pokemon World Tournament, right? So, let's, uh, let's heal my Pokemon here. Good, good stuff. Okay. Now let's see what Clay's up to. Uh, I think there's an encounter. There's an encounter at the PWT over there, uh, and I think Clay wants us to go there. So let's let's see what he's up to. What does he want? Okay, it's all the way down here. Uh, yes. Okay. Pokemon PWT. There you go. Uh, is it closed off? No, it's not. Okay. Here, let's uh, let's get a, a quick encounter here, just a little little uh, uh, side quest. Uh, and it's a game guard. Ooh, now that I do like. Uh, let's let's see what we can do to it. Let's go for like shadow sneak. I don't think it should. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, hyper fang. Ooh, that's a bad move for Gengar. Uh, okay. Oh, I, I would have preferred if uh, you went to red health there, buddy. But all right. Uh, Gengar, one of the harder Pokemon to catch. Uh, I'm not too sure about this. But, uh, I, if I do end up catching this, I'll just keep it in the PC. As much as I, I like Gengar, it's a good Pokemon. Uh, it's, it's nice to have some backup Pokemon just in case. So, because I can think I can only manage, like, three Pokemon right now. Like, you can see, like, with, even with three, like, only three Pokemon, uh, I'm, like, struggling with the, uh, I'm, like, struggling with the levels a little. So, let, we'll just keep this in the PC with its buddy Habadon. Uh, I'll just chill in the PC with the hub on. Okay, that was a close. Uh, this is a, ooh. Okay, you know, let me heal up real quick. This will basically be the rest of the episode. So let's uh, let's give this Gengar a little catch. At some point, I do want to have a full team, but I just don't think I'm in a position to uh, to do that. So if I if that's the case, I might do like a maybe like a training upstream or something fun like that. We'll have to see. I'm not sure yet. Uh, maybe I could do like an episode where I just like grind. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you could. Maybe y'all could let me know in the comments below. What would, if you, if I did do like a bunch of like training up for a Pokemon, like getting levels and stuff? Would you want me to do that on camera or off camera? Would it be like its own episode or like a live stream? Like y'all can let me know with that. Okay. You just went for a poison type move. I, I didn't. I didn't see what that was. Because uh, like I feel like a grinding episode would be a little bit too stale. So like it'd just be boring if I just. Okay. Yep. <laughs> That's actually kind of ironic. Uh. Like, I feel like if I, just, if I just grinded for an entire episode, it'd be kind of boring. Uh, so, I think what well, the best bet is just doing it, like, live. But doing it live would mean I have to, uh... 
I had to, uh, because like since I'm recording these episodes about a week in advance, doing it live would be a little challenging. So I think what I'll do is I'll probably do like maybe I just do like an episode where I just trained up a little or I just do it off camera. So, all right, let's go for the great ball. I don't know. Y'all can let me know in the comments below, but I think for now I'll just keep going. Like in the in the game and just train up as I go. Like, but I'm still like playing the main part of the story. Okay, this is a little bit more challenging than I would have hoped. Let's switch out into uh, Archeops. Oh, not not. Okay, you know what? I guess we can switch out to you too. Uh, see, if you were on red health, this would be much easier. <laughs> oh, oh, I forgot about the toxic spikes. Crap. Uh, that's uh, I think that's his Bally poison too. Ew. Okay, you know what? Uh, let me switch out to Archeops. You're immune to the toxic spikes. Uh. This this game guard is like built for competitive. It has toxic spikes and everything. <laughs> Poison touch, yeah, that's actually a, a, a extremely good ability for a uh, for Gengar. So, great ball. Like I feel like Gengar shouldn't be that hard to catch, but it's giving me some trouble. Okay, come on, please. Oh, that's what I like to see. All right, Gengar, welcome to the team. But we're probably gonna keep you in the back pedal for now. Gengar, let's give you a nickname. Uh, as of now, I don't have uh. Any comments claiming a Gengar? But for now, so I think I'll just give you a, uh, what is it? Uh, a, a generic nickname for now. Like, we'll just nickname you Boo, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but of course, if you all, any of you all want to have your Pokemon named after you, just let me know in the comments below. Uh, if it's a specific Pokemon, uh, if I catch it, I'll name that after you. But if it's just uh, uh, any Pokemon you want, then the next Pokemon I catch can be named after you. So, you know, uh, fun times. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's go back and heal and we'll end off the episode there. Making pretty good time, you know? So, that, that, that Gengar, catching a Gengar took a little long. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, heal up. Take a look at this Gengar, and uh, that'll be it. Alright. Alright. That's good. Right, it's, it's, it, this is probably the first time in a while I have like a full, like a, of, like almost a full team. So, alright. Oh, wait, nope, 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 nope. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> okay, and as of now, we still don't need HMs, which is good, because I don't really know how to manage HMs right now. Because all my Pokemon are illegal. So, like, they, they're alive. So, we got Gengar, Ghost Poison type, with, uh, with no item. <laughs> with Poison Touch, Venom Shock, Toxic Spikes, Hyper Fang, and Hex. A little bit of a questionable moveset. Uh, and it seems to be, what nature are you? What nature? You are Jolly Nature. Oh, that's plus, oh dear, that is plus speed. Minus special attack. Little kind of horrible. <laughs> but uh it's okay. It's just it's just a playthrough anyway, right? Let's take a look at the uh what any if I have any TNs for you. Shadow Sneak, uh I mean it's physical, but whatever. Uh teach it to you. And just get rid of Hyper Fang. It's a horrible move. Shouldn't be don't need it. <laughs> okay. Psych up. Okay, these are the rest of the moves are kind of bad. Uh yeah, alright, great. Let's uh, so let's put you in the PC for now. Uh, we'll we'll probably come back to you at some point, maybe after like, a, like a, a, like a little longer, so that once I can handle more team members. For now, I'm just gonna focus on training up my uh, uh my three Pokemon I have, but I'll I think I'll probably use a Gengar at some point and the Poudon. So let's uh, put let's do that, okay, and then let's save, okay. All right, let's save. All right, there you go. Alright, well I hope you all enjoyed the episode. Make sure to stay safe, have a nice day, peace out.